Halo. You getting ready, man? Oh, so getting ready. You better be. Did you leave a glass of piss on the coffee table again? You gotta stop doing that, man. You're not even dressed. So let's just call in then. Play video game. Yeah, great idea in theory, but you know, if we both call in, the boss will definitely know something's up. Come on. You can help me beat Chaos Catastrophe. If we get to level 50, we can take off the clothes of all those we smite. Even the kids. No. God, no. You know what? As fantastic as that might sound to you, no. We're already late enough as it is. Let's go. Remember last week when we were half an hour late? No, I don't actually, because we weren't a half an hour late. You were a half an hour late. Well, they think we both were. How do you figure that? I was there half an hour early. People saw me working and I clocked in. Yeah, but I told everyone there was a pack of nuns praying in the road, and that's why we were late. But we weren't late. You were late. A pack of nuns? Yeah, dude, it works on two levels. First of all, religion. I mean, who's gonna touch that, right? And B, it's a common method in psychology. The crazier the excuse, the more believable it is. Because no one thinks you're dumb enough to use it. But you, you are definitely dumb enough. What psychology class did you even take? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dr. Fraser Crane, you never cease to amaze me. That's not important right now. Let's just flip a coin. Heads we go to work, tails we don't. I got a better idea. How about you get your ass out of this recliner, you go upstairs, you get ready to go to work, and we try to sneak in the back before anyone even notices we're late. I got a coin here somewhere. Just give me a second. I'm not flipping a coin. Hey man, you walk out that door, you walk out on our friendship. Why don't you want to go to work anyway? I mean, traipsing around the land of wonder and smashing in people's skulls? How can that be better than, you know, getting paid to do something easy, like give people martinis and, you know, maybe break the occasional plate? Okay, first of all, it's not called the land of wonder. It's Mineral Bluff. And second, because it's Saturday. So? It's the weekend, my time off. I shouldn't have to spend it working. That implies that you're doing work during the week, or doing anything during the week at all. Okay, see, now you're just assuming I'm being selfish. I'm doing this for you, man. You just said, my time off, and I shouldn't be. Where do I fall into all this? There you go again, always thinking of yourself. <sighs> no, seriously, dude, I hate you. Take it easy. All right, but you can't make me go. I'm not trying to make you go, Boochcock. Boochcock? Yeah, I'm trying it out. Yeah, I'm try harder, working man. You know what? This working man's gonna be able to pay his rent at the end of the month. How are you gonna pay yours? I have a job. Let me speak a little bit slower for you. If you don't go to work, you're not gonna get paid. If you don't get paid, you're not gonna be able to take care of your rent. So you coming with me? Come with me if you want to live. <sighs> Sometimes, I wish I never room with you. And who would cook you dinner? I cook the dinner! Yeah, but who would eat it? You got me there. What do you want me to tell the boss? Tell him I said thanks for the day off. You really want me to tell him that? Yeah. So, I guess you don't want to be working there anymore, huh? I do. It's just polite to thank someone when they give you the day off. It's called etiquette. Yeah. Etiquette. You know all about etiquette. Wait a second. The boss called you this morning? Mm -hmm. Told you you didn't have to go into work? Mm -hmm. So you've been sitting here playing your stupid little game? Making me even later? I told you to call in. Oh, God. All right, if I can hurry, I can still beg for my job. <laughs> I'm just messing with it. We both have off. I guess I should call him. I'll figure it out.